Hi, my name is Jessica Spencer. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist or fertility specialist, and I work at Emory University School of Medicine. It's important you understand you're not alone. About one in 260 women carry the Fragile X premutation. Carrier testing for Fragile X involves counting the number of genetic repeats on your X chromosome. Under 55 is normal, 55 to 200 is the premutation, and over 200 is the full mutation. Knowing your repeat number is important. It's located on your lab report. This allows us to estimate the probability of you having a child with Fragile X syndrome and may have implications about your health. Fragile X syndrome is the most common form of inherited intellectual disability. Males are more commonly affected than females, and it may be associated with autism or behavioral disorders. Most people with the Fragile X premutation will not have a child affected with Fragile X syndrome, but the chance may increase with the more number of repeats they carry. Your risk for passing on the full mutation can be affected by having AGG interruptions. These interruptions can actually lower your risk. If you would like testing for interruptions, please speak with a genetic counselor. About 20% of women, or one in five women with the premutation, will have POI, or primary ovarian insufficiency. POI is typically associated with irregular cycles and early onset of menopausal symptoms. Some women may develop infertility as well. If you have concerns that you may have some of these problems, please talk to your OBGYN or reproductive endocrinologist for further testing. Some people with the premutation have anxiety and depression. If you're experiencing these symptoms, talk to your doctor as they may be treatable. If you're thinking about having a child or having more children, it's important you understand what your risk is for passing on the premutation or having it become a full mutation in your child. There may also be medical interventions available to lower your risk for passing it on. These include in vitro fertilization with pre-implantation genetic testing of the embryos before implantation, as well as egg donation, sperm donation, and adoption. If you have questions about these options, please talk to your OBGYN or reproductive endocrinologist. Finally, I hope that you found this information helpful. You can get more information from the Fragile X Foundation website at FragileX.org.